Hey there, Joey here from the Powerhouse Affiliate Show. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm excited to have Attila Audrey here today with an interview. We're going to be going in depth on some affiliate marketing uh, information, the industry, what he wants to share with us today. Attila has been an affiliate marketer since 2008. He's done tens of millions of dollars in revenue, and he has the experience we want on this channel. And hopefully today you guys will get something out of this Atila, welcome today. Thank you very much for tuning in today. And I know your time is valuable. So we're going to try and make this quick, but also informative. So uh, welcome. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I'm glad to be here. Uh, I have some specific questions I wanted to ask today because there's lots, uh, lots to cover. And of course, the industry is constantly changing. So the first question is, I guess, on that note, is how do you find the the affiliate marketing landscape has changed for you in the past few years, especially since COVID and and what we used to do before versus what we do now? And that's a great question, and I've been doing this for so long that I've seen a lot of changes happen. Like when I started in two thousand eight, I started with SEO, and back then you could throw out a web throw on a website do some simple kind of link building and you would start ranking and you would be able to get conversions on organic traffic. Then the first big change came in 2012 when Google ended the easy SEO. And that's when I came to paid ads. Back then, with, I was actually a little bit late to paid ads as well and I regret it, but there's no such thing as starting too late. I have to mention that that's very important. <laughs> Um, because a lot of people feel that, oh my God, I didn't start 10 years ago. It's too late now. No, it's never late. Just get started. So uh, yeah, so when I switched to paid ads, it was way easier to run affiliate campaigns. And the reason why is because there were not that many policies. And back then we didn't have AI, so they couldn't detect like misleading ads, uncompliant ads so fast. But now with the AI, you upload and even before it gets approved, they get disapproved or they ban your account because they already know what the intent is. So a lot has changed in regards to policy. There has been a lot of competition, especially now after the pandemic, because, you know, when the pandemic hit, everybody was wondering, um, what can I do from home? And then they went online, how to make money on you know, online and they discovered affiliate marketing. So we have 10 times more people that want to do this. And what do most people do? They rip and run your stuff. So even if you have something working, it's going to die super fast. Yeah, so, definitely. yeah, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> so. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for that. Yeah, it's very true. Uh, a lot of shift from SEO into paid traffic, especially from people I've been talking to as well. Um because SEO is a long game, we all know that, but uh, it it does form part of a, a a strategy. As as I know, you have a website that has SEO. Um, I have a website that has SEO. We're both affiliates. Uh, for people out there that don't know me, I'm also an affiliate marketer as well. And it, it, of course, paid ads has has created some serious challenges. What do you think are some of the biggest challenges right now that we face as paid advertisers or paid traffic? Uh, affiliates okay so right now there's two ways to answer this newbies and people that are just getting into this game their biggest challenge is that they do not have a network so they don't know people in the industry yet so that means that when they enter they can only run the stuff that's available for everybody you know like the public offers basically and mm -hmm. The challenge for them is to basically find a diamond in the rough because all of the offers that are passed on for everybody aren't the best offers. The best offers, they're always reserved for the top 1%. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, And for sense. someone like me and someone like yourself, I think the challenges today are rising cost of traffic, the crazy policies that don't allow us to do what they teach in affiliate, like in marketing 101 at university, which is to sell the benefits, not the features. Because the benefits, a lot of the traffic sources will say, oh, it's misleading, oh, it's violating, you know, like equal rights policy, oh, it's this, oh, it's singling out people. Like there's so many crazy things that you 
really have to be clever in order to be compliant, but still somehow sell the benefits by using special legal speak. Yeah. So, yeah. And one thing I find too, when we're running these campaigns is, uh, especially for new people, they come in and they think the obvious, you know, I'm selling, uh, let's say I'm selling solar panels and the obvious thing I'm going to try and bid on or try and get traffic for people that are searching for solar panel, so solar panel quotes, right? And then right. you go try and bid on that, you're pay, paying like 10 bucks a click in tier one countries or whatever it is. Right, right. Um, and it just seems like the obvious doesn't work. Everybody already knows that we've been affiliates for 20 years, some of us, and everything's been thought of. So yes. you have to be thinking outside of the box. And one thing that's helped with that, especially for myself, is using tools that are now readily available like ChatGPT, which helps me come up with different angles if you have the right strategy and how you can ask chat GPT for angles that no one else might think of. And, and I think there's an opportunity there. Absolutely. I mean, the, when chat GPT came out, I was eagerly awaiting the paid version because with the free version, we were always capped and we were right away using it. And I was exactly using for what you were saying to put in a winning angle or ad copy and come up with new angles by rewriting it as Matt Cutts, the SEO expert that used to be Google's God. Then, for example, Ryan Dice, then Gary Vaynerchuk, you know, all these crazy people in marketing. Yeah. And that allowed us to come up with some insane angles of approaching a promotion, a marketing campaign. And this is what you need today. You have to be really creative. And before I would have to, you know, sit, take a long ass shower because I get my best ideas yeah. in the shower and yeah. look it up. That's actually a fact. Like even in Quora, they confirm that it's such a monotone, you know, situation that it allows your brain to like run wild with ideas. So yeah, it's funny because I, uh, in the mornings when I go to the gym afterwards, I look forward to the time I spend in the uh, steam room. And that is like, a 10 or 15 minute just like meditation of like what my day is going to look like. But that's when the ideas come popping in. Right. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, it's true. And but you know, like I actually um, had this problem that I would come up with a million kick-ass ideas in the shower. And by the time, you know, I get out, I forget half of them. So there's actually a notepad, which is waterproof. And <laughs> nice. with these sticky sticky pad thingies, it mounts on the on the tiles in the in the shower, you know. Yeah. And then you can write down all your ideas. So after you come out, you can take your time brushing your teeth, etc. And you'll have your list of ideas like right there. It's it's awesome. a game changer, you know. Aside from that strategy and tactic, can you tell us and share with us one particular strategy in 2023 that is working for you best right now? What you're focusing on? A uh, strategy. I, for me personally, since I know so many people, the best strategy that's working for me is networking. Like, hey guys, what's doing good? Like, let's meet, you know, let's do a call. And then I have all these friends who are very big, like they're seven figure in profit per year marketers. And they are, you know, living the affiliate dream, like working from anywhere they want and being right. free with their time. And I asked them, like, what's going on? It's like, okay, hook me up. Like, which is the best place to go? You know, like, which partner, which network, you know, which offers to do? And, you know, we exchange info because they know that, you know, they help me. I'll help them when they're in need. So this is my strategy. But again, yeah. not everybody's in these shoes. You have to get here. So if I was a noob, then I would use spy tools and I would see what's running and what's running a lot. And something that I would see over and over and over and over that is where I would start, basically. Yeah. And so where do you meet these people? Do you have you have a forum, I understand? And is that where you would meet them? Or do you have a telegram groups or so I meet them all over the place? Like I can't wait to go to affiliate conferences when there's affiliate meetups. Like there was actually a business meetup now in California. So we flew out with my wife for uh six days and battle jet lag, but it's worth it, you know? So stuff yeah. like that, never miss something. And then uh, conferences, basically private meetups, just people coming to my city in Budapest. And then they say, oh, I'm in your city. And I go take them out on the town, you know, and then 
we become closer and they tell me stuff and things like that. And, you know, we change, we just networking basically. Exactly. But about yeah. forums. Yeah, I do have imaffiliate.com, which is a great place for advanced marketers. And I also like stmforum.com, which is very good for newbies. I have uh, also like a telegram group with over like 2000 people in it. So yeah, like there's all kinds of different things, you know, be everywhere and yeah, talk to everybody because you never know. I'm a member of that Telegram group. It's actually uh, pretty good for finding resources uh, or asking quick questions for, you know, some people are asking where can, where to get accounts, where to get traffic, where to get offers. It, it's actually helpful to have that quick, quick answer there. Yeah, that's the best thing about these uh, chat groups for sure. Yeah. By the way, everyone watching, if you uh, enjoy these types of videos, I just want to throw a YouTube plug in here to make sure the algorithm puts us at the top of the feed for affiliates. Make sure you like, subscribe, share this channel. Uh, with other affiliates because we do these types of interviews all the time and I think it's informative for people out there. Um, so I, I want to carry on because Attila and I are on a tight timeline. We have kids, well, I have kids to pick up today. So I'm going to ramble on into the next question here. And I want to ask, like, are there any emerging trends or shifts in affiliate marketing that you're keeping an eye on aside from the AI shift? Do you think there's another opportunity coming in the next year or two that we should be kind of watching? Uh, yes, I'm seeing the affiliate marketing industry mature. So a lot of the guys that used to go after the quick ROI, the quick cash, those things, they are growing up, you know, they're having families like you and me. So they're no longer about the quick hustle to make, you know, hundred K, you know, in a month or whatever, and then blow it all, you know, they're all about long-term and like how do you say like uh improving their free time so they have more free time to spend with family and make memories so i'm seeing a lot of shift towards these og affiliates building projects which are of value projects that can be sold and i see newbies coming in and either having the wrong expectations like they think that they can start with 500 and make you know five million dollars yeah. and with very little work or they come in with 5,000 and they don't follow, you know, what is working already. They don't spy. They say, I have this awesome idea. I know it's going to work. They blow all the 5,000 and then goodbye. They quit because this is scrap. You know, this is a scam. This is MLM. Screw this, you know, and then yep. that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, exactly. And I feel the same way. And it's funny because all of the affiliates I've met that are successful as well um, through conferences and through wherever, like, you know, we, um, it's always, there's always a move forward from, okay, we, we want to find those methods that make quick money. Of course, those are fun. They're exciting. They give us adrenaline. When you, when you pump out a campaign on TikTok or Facebook and it starts to become profitable, you, you like celebrate, but we all know the lifestyle of that and, and how it kind of comes and goes. And we talked about this last time we interviewed you. And um, so we're going up and down all the time. But most of these affiliates now are building, like you said, a, a business. So you're building something, an authoritative website even where, like you look at NerdWallet. I always use this as an example. Like I'm, you, you picture how it would have started out where they're doing financial kind of offers and it started out you'd see them everywhere on the spy tools and then it became this big content driven website that now sells their own leads and and it just becomes a big project that started with probably a couple of native ads that just crushed and then it just became big exactly exactly and i have something to mention here we are actually about to unveil a new project which is for aspiring new internet marketers it's called marketer.money and it's going to be a resource to find the latest offers, to get the connections with people. It's going to be like the Rolodex, which has, you know, the latest offers. So you can search and you can also find by the click URL, which CPN. So when you spy, you will type in the URL, like the network URL. It will tell you, okay, that's this network. So you can actually hit up the network and be like, I saw that, you know, a lot of people are running your offers. I want to run it too, because that's one of the keys to making it as a newbie, right? Nice to run proven stuff. So we are working on that. And that goes into what you were saying, you know, that you can actually grow and make a website very big by starting small. So where do you see affiliates heading in the next five years? What do you think? Are you going to still be doing this or are you 
Like, I'm gonna do this forever. I mean, this is the best thing, man. This is like real. Like, you know, there's so many of these get rich quick and all these things. They're all scam. Affiliate marketing is real. We provide expertise to extract the maximum profit from the minimum spend. So that's what we specialize in. And that's why we're never going anywhere. Yes. And how do you think you're going to maintain your competitive advantage over everyone else coming in? Because we know every year the industry is growing massively. How do you how do you maintain? I maintain by being honest. I was honest from day one. People know me as blunt honest. That's it. And this allows me to build such an amazing network of people. Like I know the owners, of the biggest companies. And if I need something, I can call them up, you know, not on speed dial because I don't use that. But, you know, I just dial and go, hey, what's up? Can you help? We need this. And they're like, sure, of course, you know, like, so that's one of the biggest advantages for sure. And also endless learning because a lot of people come into this. They're like, okay, give me a list of stuff I have to, you know, learn. And then you give them that and they're like, okay, cool. So does that mean if I learn this, then I can make a lot of them? I'm like, I'm like, no, you learn that. And then you continue to learn because things change so often. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you uh, what do you find is the best traffic source for you right now um, in your paid ads? Is it like a, you don't have to tell the exact strategy, but where are you focusing a lot of effort right now? Is it Facebook? We are up? doing a lot of video because people prefer video. They're consuming video like crazy. Like my blog, which is 100 percent written, had a massive traffic drop because everybody's watching YouTubers, you know. Yeah, everybody's watching uh, vlogs and they are not reading blogs like it's crazy, but that's how it is. So it's for true. us, video 100 percent. So that's interesting you say that because we just started to see a pickup in our traffic on Powerhouse Affiliate blog, a little pickup from we never really focused on SEO much. But once I started taking video cuts from my YouTube channel and putting them onto the blog, um, it seemed to pull up the traffic there. But you're right. Also, I'm using tools now to cut videos into shorts. Yeah. And then pumping those out and, and you can see that go up. Now, in terms of paid traffic, what I've heard and what I've uh, when I'm talking to affiliate managers and stuff is you're right. The people are crushing e-com finance with little short video um, snippets on TikTok or YouTube. Well, YouTube kind of took a little dive there for a bit for affiliates, I, uh, I heard. But um, I don't know if you heard the same thing. Yeah, I did. And also now TikTok took a dive. Okay. So TikTok traffic quality went down, everyone went to Facebook, but it's always like that, right? Yeah. Because what they always do, in my opinion, is they need to boost profits. So they try and fuck the affiliates and the marketers <laughs> by mixing in shitty traffic, you know? Yeah. Well, like that's exactly what happened it. on Microsoft too. Microsoft ads went from search to now search plus all their audience network. And yeah. now you got to block thousands of websites to get any good traffic. It's crazy. I know, I know. They do this for profit, you know. They're like, oh, we need an extra profit. Okay, let's uh, mix this in. And then that's what I think they do based on what I've seen. So what happens every time is when they do this smart change, which sounds so good in the, you know, the boardroom, everybody leaves. Then, then uh, Facebook's like, whoa, we're doing good. You know, let's make some more profit. And then everybody is like shit and then goes back to the other place you know like it's really yeah. funny like they just move so we move around basically among yeah. the big networks yeah exactly um yeah so it's interesting because i've been shifting as well right now i'm doing a lot of google traffic but uh i'm trying to get back into the facebook area and um yeah, it's, it's it's always challenging. No matter, even with people with years of experience, trying to find um, something that's going to to last more than two or three weeks is is, uh, is sometimes challenging. Um, okay, well let's uh, let's do a quick wrap up uh, first. But um, let me say, what advice would you give to people now starting out affiliate? There's a lot of people starting out, but also even experts right now. What what kind of advice uh, do you have for for people in this game and? It can be anything from personal, uh, you know, time management or to where where to go next. Okay, so for people that never heard of affiliate marketing or they heard about it but never took action and they want to get, you know, something going finally, I always recommend, you know, reading my book, which is on Amazon called From, From Zero to Super Affiliate because it's like 
an easy read that will take you two hours. It's 98 pages long, and it's going to give you the lowdown without any filler crap, because that's what I hate about books. They always pad it, so they're 200 pages. So it's going to give you everything you need to know and to understand, to have a full circle understanding of the affiliate marketing with paid ads and how it's done. After that, what you want to do is you want to get out, and this is the same for expert marketers today. You want to get out and you want to increase and broaden your network. So you meet with everybody. When you go to a show, talk to everybody. Don't only talk to the guy who arrived in a Lambo. Talk to the dude that looks like a complete nerd because chances are that guy is making way more money than the dude that rented the Lambo, you know? So... Always talk to everyone. Yeah, that's hilarious because that is that is so true, man. Oh God, um, thanks for that. That's 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 good advice. Um, you know, building a network is probably the biggest thing now that we have um, when it comes to to learning because everything I've done, all of the biggest campaigns I've had in my life, have come from. Hey, so and so, you you should check out this guy. You should talk to him about, you know, like I remember when I was doing casino. You, there's no way one person could have navigated how to to just crush casino by themselves. You needed a network. You needed to talk to the casino manager. You needed to talk to the the affiliate manager. You needed to go out to the conference in Barcelona and talk to these guys that are sitting around the table, half half drunk, telling you exactly how they're getting their IP at whatever it is, right? Yeah, you need to understand that. That's not just something you're going to see on a YouTube video. Right? Exactly. You talk to these people. That's yeah. amazing. So I wanted to do something quick, uh, something I haven't done before on one of these podcast interviews is eight quick hits to wrap up because um, we're coming on to when I have to leave and, okay. and you have things to do, I know. So eight quick hits. There's quick fire questions, and I think they'll uh, be inf informative. So what is your favorite traffic source today? Facebook ads. Facebook ads, nice. Preferred affiliate network. That's a good one because we work with direct advertisers. <laughs> but right. if I had to pick one, it would be Max Web because they are simply incredible and they have very high converting offers today, which are very popular. They're called VSL offers. And you run them on YouTube and on Facebook with video. So yes, it's and I trendy and I did a case study on this channel for anyone watching. Maybe I'll pop it up. I did a case study on nerve pain. It's a nerve savior offer that they have on Max Web. I did a email flow funnel and it became um, profitable. And there is a case study on there uh, for that. And I did that on Google search, but um, I also tested it on Facebook. They, they do have some great offers there. Uh, number one tool or software you're using right now. Yeah, so number one tool that everyone needs to use is a tracking, you know, solution. And we use RedTrack, and I'll tell you why. They have API, which allows us to make custom tools that integrate with RedTrack to get a lot of things that would be like monkey work done really fast in like a click or two clicks. So it's super efficient. And they also have a great team that if you are a serious user of RedTrack, they'll make you custom stuff for it. So that's why I use RedTrack. So what, and can, can you give me an example of a custom? What would you use it custom? Like, are you? I would make custom or? basically. Uh, like, we have a custom uh, system which will allow us to plan out campaigns in like a spreadsheet, and then we press inside Excel, Google Sheets, import to Red Track. It'll create the campaign. You know, add all the tracking uh, variables and everything, and then populate back the campaign URL. So you don't have to open the tracker, click new offer, new campaign, and go through a million clicks. We just, yeah. you know, organize, okay, we're gonna launch these campaigns, make the, you know, the campaigns in the tracker, and then give us the URL and it does everything, so. That's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. Best book you've read on marketing aside from your own? <laughs> Best book that I read on marketing. It has to be cashvertising. Cashvertising, nice. That right. was very good because marketing is all about creativity. Yeah. That's my all-time favorite book. Where do you keep updated aside from your own network? Do you have a newsletter or a website that you like to view? No, YouTube. 
I'm also like everybody else these days, YouTube, yeah. yeah. And there's actually a trick to finding good content. If you have a specific keyword, you sort by upload date and then you look for the ones that don't have tons of views because usually the guys that are sharing the most info, they're new and they give you the best value because they think that if they do that, they're going to get more views. And that's not how the algo works, but a lot of people think that. So that's where you can get the best golden nuggets from newbies on YouTube. What's your favorite conference or um, offline event that you go to? Uh, ClickVid in Ibiza. That's my favorite. That's like the best party thing with high, really high quality attendees. Another uh, event that I like to attend is not 100% affiliate. It's called Founders Mastermind. And this is nice. business owners, startup owners, very big people, like the top 1% in everything. Like we were in California, we were at Manny Koshbin, like he's massive with a crazy car collection at his uh, HQ. And we had speakers from San Francisco that basically invest in startups. Like one of the guys was on Shark Tank and Shark Tank invested 1 million, like all four sharks wanted to invest in his company. So nice. that guy was, you know, talking and you get to meet, it's only like 30, 40 people. So it's extremely intimate. So you become friends with them, party together, you know, and then exchange really good info. So these nice. two are my favorites. And in the affiliate space, affiliate world, which happens in Barcelona, in Thailand and in Dubai, that's my ultimate yes, for affiliate great, marketing. Great ones. What's your favorite niche and in industry to promote in? Lead gen always. Financial lead or gen, anything? Uh, it's always revolving, right? So there's a lot of homeowner stuff, insurance, you know, there's different government offers. Like we're circling. It's like seasonal, you know? Yeah, so exactly. Last question, and then we'll end this and we'll wrap it up. What's your? Do you have an insp inspirational figure in affiliate marketing that you like to follow or watch or... Well, who is your biggest inspiration in this? In this, no, I don't, I don't really have any like idols and stuff yeah. like that. Like one of the guys that I look up to is Jason Akative because he's an oh super OG that's extremely successful, and yeah. he still talks to everybody. Like he will go to the show and just go party with the uh, like the newbie affiliate. It's like he's yeah. so crazy. Like there's nobody so approachable, so humble like Jason. Like, he's amazing, you know. Yeah, so. I saw him I saw him present in uh, I think it was Barcelona, maybe New York. I can't remember which one it was. But he did a presentation on uh, how he started and came to where he is today. Yeah. Very very impressive. Yeah, he's so cool. He still has a blog, you know, smacksword.com. Yeah. Awesome. So. Well, listen man, I really appreciate your time today. Is there anything you want to finish off with? Uh, tell us where we can find more information about you and your business and um, and then we'll wrap it up. Yeah, definitely. If you want to contact me, check out I am A-T-T-I-L-A.com. Follow me on Instagram, Attila, not Attila. So it's A-T-T-I-L-A-N-O-T-A-T-I-L-L-A. -T so it's not two L's, it's two T's. So Attila, not Attila. So that's it. And watch out for our upcoming project, which is marketer.money, because it's going to be a one-stop shop for everything marketing, to find the offers, to find offers where they're running, which network has them, if you know they're tracking URLs, and also, you know, to get and uh, make new contacts. Wicked. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it for all of you watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, make sure you share this with anyone else that you think would have, find value in this. And we're looking forward to some more podcasts like this. And we'll see you in the next round. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. See you later.